Welcome back to another crypto video. What's good, ladies and gents? I hope you're doing well. It's Jacob Crypto Burry here. The coin of today is going to be Quant Network. Very, very big project that's grown exponentially over the last year or two. And yeah, let's crack right on. I mean, I can also make this an ASMR video if you would prefer. I mean, <laughs> I've had some strange comments, guys, like people saying they're falling asleep to the sound of my voice. I'm either really boring to listen to, or you got some kind of strange interests. I mean, you do you, you do you. So Quant Network, um, what is Quant Network? Well, this is the Quant's beautiful website, and you're probably familiar with Quant or QNT. And, you know, we want to look at the upside potential for this particular project. It's quite a bland website, really, but it does have a lot of real-world use case scenarios. And we can see the use cases here is Quant's ecosystem allows developers, so it's, it's attracting developers and enterprise or business, to build multi-chain networks and applications for users opposite to dApps, which are built on single chains, maps are built on multiple chains and can move chains as required so, so instead of creating a separate block chain overledger rather runs on top of the black blockchains so yeah it's a uh, really really cool connecting all of the world's distributed ledgers for fast more efficient growth and yeah so this is how the market's looking at the moment we're sort of blinking a bit red we lost that support at 43,000. well actually it was a key resistance area and we just got that big reje rejection so we're seeing that $4,000 pullback right now, and it still doesn't look that bad because Bitcoin is trading in this lovely ascending triangle. So here is the Quant Network Twitter, 81K followers. You know, they're still pretty, um, they're pretty active. Today they released an over Overledger 2.21 to add support for Polygon, an Ethereum compatible network. You can see that they're also training people Overledge of 2.20 enhances the performance of gateway and improved data consistency. So really it's a big service um, token as well to all these infrastructure projects. You can see they've also got educational courses. They're attracting those developers that will be eventually most likely building on their systems as well. So it's an ever growing network. And let's check out the fear and greed index as well before we hop around to 22. So extreme fear once again, we got that big pullback. And what's interesting is we've got this extreme fear. However, we're still trading. I mean, we got rejected at the bull market support band. Yes, we're in British pounds, but you can see we've got this pullback and this could potentially be a good buying opportunity now for Bitcoin, not financial advice. I mean, you've got this ascending channel and it looks like it does or want to consolidate here and potentially get a you know, a bounce to the upside. And that's what I'm anticipating is going to happen, guys. So let's have a little look at the quant network. Where did you go? You ran away from me. QQQ, there you go. So we're sitting in at $120 at the moment. We can see quant as a market have of 1.6 billion, rank 68. We can also see that if we click on the one year, we have come down from all time highs of $400. So we've almost corrected 75%, which is quite a whopping reduction when you think of it. Um, let's have a little look at the Fibonacci retracement firstly. Well, we can see that we've come just below that 0.786 Fibonacci, and this is on the daily time frame. So from that massive all time high, it looks like we're trying to re challenge the $128 resistance level. This is also now resistance. Sorry, that is also support. So $128 is a key, key area of resistance. And you can see that we took another impulse from this bottom here. And when we corrected once again, we come down to that 0.786 Fibonacci um, on our support level. This, you know, sort of diagonal support level, got lots of big long wicks, which means there's lots of big buying pressure. That's exactly what these lines demonstrate. And yeah, we, we haven't yet come down to this support level and we don't know if we definitely will. On the daily time frame, we can see that we got a bullish crossover on the MACD around the 28th of February. So that's another thing to consider and we're still above that 20 day moving average. It's looking pretty good. If we hop into the four hour time frame, you know, very, very interesting setup once again. We've had this big consolidation here, big consolidation, symmetrical triangle, and that took us all the way up to $132. But then of course we had more FUD yesterday and that took us back down to around the beginning of the symmetrical triangle at $114. So if we go into the hourly time frame, we can see right now we're getting a bit more consolidation. We're just struggling to put through that higher high. And that's one thing that we really want to do in order to see continuation to the upside. So we've got this nice continuation 
here, this um, consolidation channel. And this is potentially continuation to the upside now. So if we can just hold and find the support level, take this fib retracement, you know, we're at the golden pocket. So we've potentially come back down to the lowest level now for quant at $119. If we go back to that daily time frame, you can see what we really need to do is get through this $128 resistance level, because if we do that, we can start going towards the 145 and the 161 dollar resistance levels as well which is drawn in over here so we can put in a nice resistance line here so these you know it's really a giant channel that we're sort of trading within um so we just gotta break this 128 resistance really before we can see continuation you know the rsi is sitting pretty neutral at the moment and it's a big big project if we have a look at the next you know sort of the next cycle targets on the weekly time frame all we got to use is this fibonacci extension guys take it down to our swing low, assuming this is the bottom now for Quant. And you can actually see the next big bull target is all the way up here at $642. So one would assume that the, you know, the reaccumulation phase is gonna look something like this for Quant. Now this is the supposable bear market. You start retesting these resistance, you start getting this thrill and euphoria. People start piling in slowly, slowly more euphoria, more thrill, more FOMO, etc. And that's when we can potentially see the, you know, the pump to these bigger price levels before taking another correction. And the correction would look something like, you know, coming down to $300 or maybe just revisiting the previous all time high. Perhaps we can come even higher. Perhaps we can actually visit $800, which would then mean, you know, a higher retracement. So either way, it's, it's very, very bullish. And I think Quant has got the upside potential for these big, big gains in the future. And it's very, very important to acknowledge these undervaluation reaccumulation zones. So this is the weekly time frame. It does look like we've been in a downtrend for a long time. And until we break through some of these key resistance levels, such as $145, $128, we're really going to struggle to find an uptrend. You can just see the, the constant lower highs, the constant lower highs. And that's what we don't want. So let's see what's going to happen with Quant. Let me know down in the comments your price predictions. Make sure you subscribe to this channel too. I want to say huge thanks to my five patrons right here. If you want to become a patron, literally price for coffee, you're going to get trading signals, access to Discord, crypto ebook. You're going to get access to giveaways and also one-on-one -on -one messaging. So you don't want to miss out on that juicy stuff. Price for coffee, guys. And I'll make sure it's worth your while. If there's anything else you want to say, any suggestions, leave comments down below. We'll get back to you and see you soon, guys. Thanks.